If you are new to bullet journaling or you don't know how to bullet journal or you are just hearing the term bullet journaling, I'm so glad you stopped by at my channel because I'm going to be showing you my whole bullet journal setup for 2023. The full bullet journal setup for 2023 and i hope i help you and you are able to design your own bullet journal like i already said in this video that bullet journal is not about aesthetics or looks but how effective you are able to use the bullet journal systems by the end of this video you are inspired to start your bullet journal it is not too late this is the second month of 2023 and it's not too late to start a bullet journal i don't know what time you are watching this video even if it's at the end of the year it's not too late to start your bullet journal what's up on video gang is divine and if you are a new person to my channel welcome to my channel i make lifestyle adulting and natural hair videos and if you are interested in those type of things be sure to stick around and subscribe if you are a gang member and this is not your first time seeing my face i'm so happy and proud of you welcome back <laughs> Today, we are going to be designing our bullet journals. I'm going to show you how simple it is to design your own bullet journal. I'll take you from the equipment and instruments. Is it instruments now? I'll take you from the equipment and stationery I used to design my bullet journal to themes and prompt ideas and to design the bullet journal together. I hope you got your book and you have at least a pen, pencil and eraser. Get them ready and let us get into the video. <laughs> all right what's up on beyond gang so the first thing very important to have is a pen like you can't go wrong if you don't even have a color pencil or coloring pencils or crayons but once you have a pen because that's the essence of bullet journaling you want to write out what you want to achieve and the things that you're going to do to achieve those things the design and the felt pen or the ball pen or the ink pens or all those other things or the crayons or pencils that you'll be using is just to assist you build the aesthetic that you want and it's not necessary i just personally just like it and since as long i drew something i wanted to have at least an aesthetic so i got my pencils first to draw what i want before i erase them and outline them with my black pen black pen very important you can get other pens like a red pen or blue or green pen but i love black pens and yeah that's what i'll be working with i'm going to research now on my laptop actually the office laptop because i don't have a laptop yet and show you guys inspiration i get inspirations from pinterest yeah i might wear my glasses because of the light from the laptop So the first page of our bullet journal is usually the year of whatever year your bullet journal is going to be your front page just going to have your personal information and the year i've done this before for my other bullet journals i'll just insert my first bullet journal and show you how we are started and where we are how it started and where we are anyway so i just did a simple numbering of 2023 which you can choose for yourself what you want to design i start off with my pencil first of all because i know i might make mistakes so i start off with my pencil then i use my black pen can you see why i said black pens are very important i use my black pen to highlight my pencil once i'm done then if i have any mistakes i'll just erase it i drew this from my head not from pinterest so you can get inspired to do whatever you want to just do you if you want to color what you drew you can color it like most of the time i always have a lot of orange color pencils so most of the time if you check my bullet journals you'll see that i have orange in my bullet journal because i always have orange color pencils available so this is year 2023 the next thing you'll do before you draw the calendar of the whole year is to design your index of contents this organization hack helped me last year so just last year i started doing it in my bullet journal and it helped me stay organized so i know which page to go to when i want to journal if i 
want to journal on finance i know the page number of finance i know the page for that so that's why you need to have a first page for index next thing we're going to do now is to have our future log our future log is just basically the calendar of the whole year so you can count them down lifestyle challenge for this year is called project 54 so the way i designed my bullet journal i designed it according to the weeks first week second week third week till 54 weeks we actually have 52 weeks in a year but this year there are going to be 53 weeks in the year at the time i'm recording this video we're in the seventh week of the year as i said it's not too late to start your bullet journal the next part of my bullet journal is my routines which will involve my morning and nighttime routines i'm still developing a better routine but i've i've improved from last year but now i just know what i want to do in the night to help me improve timing in my mornings because i'm always very tired like i told you guys in my last video so i've been calculating how i can spend my nighttime routine that will help me do things early enough in the morning so that's the essence of my routine spread does bts eat Healthy? No. No. no! no! I like sugar! I like sugar! I like sugar! I like sugar! I told you guys in my last video that I'm not going to be sharing a lot of all my goals but basically for my content plan I'm going to be writing out both my natural hair and adulting content and what I get inspired by from other creators and influencers in my space and what I want to actually t put a twist on. Sorry to interrupt the video, I just want to give a big shout out to Rachel for being the first person to comment on my last video. If you want to get a shout out, make sure you drop a comment as soon as this video drops. Yeah, let me give you something to comment. If you are still watching this video and designing your bullet journal with me, at this part of the video make sure you pause the video and comment simple yeah comment simple because people think designing a blood journal is actually hard but now you see how simple it is so comment simple in the comment section let's confuse them Bible study is the first thing I said doing in my bullet journal because I've become very intentional with my Bible study. I'm not as good as I was and I don't like that state of feeling backward when I'm meant to press on forward. And we have been learning a lot about intentionality at church. So this year, we're going to work on Bible study a lot because we need to soak ourselves. So I have a part of my Bible study for prayer requests, a part for Bible verses for situations, and a part just to pour my heart to God and what I've learned. Apart from my Bible study and social media manager, my period tracker is very very important. Like it's the most important, one of the most important spread in my bullet journal because it has helped me to be aware of my body, food I'm eating, how my body is reacting to the environment and what is going on within my body. I know my ovulation period, I know when the period of time I'm going to be on. I basically am more aware because of I track my period and I've been doing this in my first year of bullet journaling and it's just basically just tracking the days I'm on so I know oh this is the period of the month social media can be very very toxic because you keep comparing yourself to other creators but having my social media tracker reminds me of where i started and where i'm going to and that's why this year i'm still going to stick to my social media tracker to track my journey and the process of growing on social media basically i'm focusing on instagram youtube and tiktok hopefully if i get a pa i can expand Last year I watched a lot of movies. This year it has been in my mind. It has been in my head, my goal, my plans to read more books, which I know is not possible because I watch more videos than reading. 
but i've been trying to like develop my reading skills this year trust me that's not be working out that's because i work mondays to saturdays like i always say i'm going to try that's why it is there for me to keep accountable to myself not you guys i was very skeptical about adding this spread to my bullet journal because i've not been serious with it like my fitness and health like i said this whole journaling thing has been accountable to myself so hopefully i become serious with it at least i've been able to track my weight and my body with my fitness spread a little like it's just my waist and height and body weight yeah most of it conversations and thinking i like to know so I kept everything relating to school, relating to learning as a process under school, from language to art to sewing to editing to scripting, like everything I want to learn this year. My hair courses, like yeah, it's under my school spread. So whatever you are doing concerning school, you can keep that. I'm presenting on uni. I'm still almost done with my NYSC. Yeah, that's just school. I've always had a part of my blog journal where I write down places I want to go to or wish or hope to go to. I also want to be intentional about the awards and features I want to attain for myself. Most importantly, I want to be very, very conscious about money I spend and money I make because this adulting thing is stressful. A mental therapy for me is being able to write down in my bullet journal when I'm going through a lot and record that moment for the future purpose. I already have a link to my hair growth challenge and I already recorded it in a soft copy but I'm still going to try to transfer it to my bullet journal. So make sure you download the link in the description box. Thank you guys for commenting potato on my last video. I never expected it. So a big shout out to all of you guys that commented potato. So don't forget to comment simple at the end of this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you check out this video if you haven't already. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>